So this genius, Isis Rez, decided it was a great idea to go on TikTok and other social media platforms and sell fake Ozempic to her viewers and didn't think she was gonna go down for it. Can we talk about it? Because apparently one of the buyers that bought from her was covered in lesions after this woman told her to inject herself over 23 times with all the fake Ozempic she was selling. Eventually undercover police caught up to her and her scheme and now she's facing up to 20 years in jail because she want to be an idiot and go on TikTok where you can see her face, see her face and sell fake Ozempic like people wasn't going to watch it. So for a couple of months, she was on TikTok giving instructions on how to use it, how to inject it in yourself and how to do a bunch of other stuff with Ozempic. And she didn't think that this was going to lead to a whole track record. This is my thing. If you're going to do nasty stuff online stupid stuff online don't leave a trail of the videos even though we all know they could pull up any data they want to off these social media platforms even if you delete it but sis really left a whole manual of her selling fake ozempic and other weight loss medications to numerous people numerous people and this one lady literally caught lesions all over her body because one of the injection um, devices was contaminated with a bacteria that almost caused her flesh to come off and lesions to form. Can we talk about it? So apparently this woman, Isis, was going to DR and other places in South America and the Caribbean to go get fake Ozempic and bring it back to the United States. So apparently she had a whole um, racket going. And she only ran it for about six, seven months. So she got caught up. Because clearly, sis, why are you on TikTok selling fake Ozempic and then trying to get people to um, buy it. You are not a pharmacist. People go to pharmacy school for years and spend thousands of dollars to become pharmacists. Why? Because if you give people the wrong kind of drugs or any substance and they get a, a reaction to it, you will go to jail. That is a crime. You are not the FDA. Especially if you're selling fake Ozempic. What kind of wicked are you doing to give people weight loss medication that it's not even weight loss medication. I, I keep reminding y'all in my numerous Ozempic videos, it's not weight loss medication. Weight loss is just a side effect. It's diabetes medication. Y'all are taking medication from diabetics who greatly need this medication. And y'all raising the price on Ozempic, which is another thing. Not only y'all taking medicine, y'all don't need to lose weight and look like zombies. Y'all are taking it from diabetes patients and causing the price of it to skyrocket. And can we talk about it? But this woman is literally getting people hopes and dreams of, of losing weight and um, losing fit, um, getting fit and looking like a zombie. And she's selling fake Ozempic. Who knows what's in there? And now you going to jail for 20 years, sis, because you got people breaking out and they skin getting destroyed, bacteria on their skin, neurosis and stuff like that. The flesh is breaking down on this woman's skin. She got lesions all over her skin just because she was trying to lose a little weight and then two why are you buying weight loss medication from somebody on tiktok see i be having a thin line between love and hate since i am the king of tiktok and then i be on here every single day i do see the line but i'm not on here selling fake ozempic and fake weight loss medication and telling people how to use it since did you not think you was gonna go get um put in federal jail because of this and now she's facing up to 20 years because you're going past interstate commerce. You're going to other countries to get fake weight loss medication. You don't know what's in it. And then you're recommending it to people who trust and follow you. And that's another thing. People seeing you every day, you telling them how to use it. These people are trusting you and following you. And you selling them some BS. And now she got caught. She sent some to an undercover cop. And they came and got her. Because since she's not going to be out here selling fake weight, weight loss medication. That's different. That's a different type of wicked. Because you know people are going to be using it. And one of the girls bought it from her 23 different times. So she was making money off the thing too. That's another reason. She was making money off it. You got to sell multiple Ozempic. You got to really do that thing. I just learned. It's not just a one shot, two shot deal. You really got to do it or you probably going to go back to fat, which is, I think is absolutely wicked. If whoever is the company, Eli Lilly, the company behind Ozempic, y'all need to chill out because y'all got something that people going to have to use all the time to stay um, slim. You're going to develop an unhealthy addiction to it because again, it's a substance. But again, 
Isis Reyes, you, you again, this fake weight loss medication to your TikTok fans and your social media following is a nasty particular set of work, and I don't know what kind of person you are, but they had to come get you because you wildin'. The girl broke out. one Because she's, it, you got, that's why I said needles have to be sterilized. So the needle, whatever was an injection needle, was not sterilized, and this woman broke out covered in lesions. And whatever was in the substance, the fake Ozempic, had her break out. Can we talk about it? What y'all think in the comment section?